across the world, this is YouTube Land. Welcome, C of Brunswick versus FC Parade, round one of the 2012 season. I'm joined by my fellow commentator, Matthew Montgomery, the review man. I'm about to lose it, Chief. This looks like one of the matches of the round, Chief. You've lost it. The manager is Michael Charmy today. He's Two top four teams going at it. Limo boy Ferguson, Holmes, Armstrong, Avram, Barbosa, Dran, James Sorensen in goals, and Ahmed Azam round off. FC Paran and C of Brunswick, the manager Nico Signatiades, Brandon Apostolakis, Big Apotilia, Roslyn Darwin, Duke Duva and Ricardo Castro all started line up. They've got all their players back. C of Brunswick, they survived last year at the final day. How will they fare this year, this season? They will finish in the top four, Chief. I can put my house on that. Well, that would be good if you could put the house on. Even okay. if I don't have a house. That's the way, that's the way. But hey, <laughs> I understand. Conspiracies. I understand what you're saying because uh, with their full squad, they are pretty much a top four, if not a top two uh, club. That's, that's for sure. Well, they were the strongest uh, finishing team of last yeah, season. Bigger. Cross goal. Oh! oh! I'm so poor, Tilio. The danger man, the live wire, the thunderbolt, the lightning strike, the man that puts fear in every manager's heart. heart. I'm lost for words. It's open up and look at bigger. Like a gazelle down the line and look at that, cool as you like. He opens his 2012 account, Portilio. Well, defenders be aware, you can't leave this man unmarked running at the D. You just can't. Clint McGuire should have been on him. He's one of Australia's newest talents, that's for sure. Montgomery, I'll tell you what, he absolutely runs those lines. Small court, big court, he does it all, Chief. Oh, I think you can do it on a 20 cent piece. Yeah. As, uh, as you can just see, uh, Brunswick trying to flick her feet as uh, Paran are pressing quite up, Barbosa, and Avram does the job. Ricardo should be getting oh. back in there. Get back in there, Ricardo Castro. Oh, he looks like he copped one in the chops. Oh, no, he's, he's taking it. He's all right, he's on the ball now. He's on the ball, he might have copped one in the chops. A hard man, he's Bortillo again. He's dangerous. What's he going to do? Oh, and that, that time there, uh, Zam got all the way back and blocked it. As Avram trying to open it up. <laughs> and, uh, uh, Postalakis almost puts him into the fence. And he's letting Evan Robotas know about it. Well, the, oh, but I'm not sure what about. We're not sure. The officials off tonight is Evan Robotas. And I'm pretty sure on the far side we've got uh, George Mamateas. Third official being Peter Kiropoulos. And what a hard job they've got uh, lined up for him in round one. Oh, yeah. And round two and three and four and so on. And so on all the way to the Cubs. It's a tough gig. And uh, I don't think anyone wants to do it as Barbosa. Gets the ball down the line, almost goes into the fence. Oh, oh, oh geez, Barbosa's oh, getting a foot in there. Oh, the round one, look at this. He's, 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 he's getting involved in a big way. Oh, and uh, started lively this game already. Brunswick won all the good. You see Paran finished third last season. Uh, dwindled off towards the end of the season. Barbosa tries to... Oh, and Castro like a wall. Here we go, Castro, Portillo. Oh, and good save by Sorensen. Still 1-0, denies Portillo his second goal. And that was just a fingertip save on he the post. He's just waiting, along with Ricky Castro, Hoto Portillo, they're just waiting to break this game wide open, Chief. And I'll tell you what, the way FC Paran are going, it looks like they might just do that. Avram tries to find Barbosa, and he does! Barbosa just narrowly wide. Didn't completely trouble Brennan in goals. Barbosa and Avram really have to step up now. They have to stem the flow and stop the run of Brunswick attacks. Well, he's got well, yeah, a few shots in their own. Here comes one now. Oh, Maxi. Good save there by Jimmy Brennan. Went straight to Maxi Aram, the captain. Geez, he had a lot of space there, Chief, to have his shot. He did have a lot of space. This project side is full of quality. However, defending is the key for all futsal teams, for all futsal squads. Has Uta Darwin been brought, is it, brought in as a defender as he was at Essendon? Or? I'm not completely sure. I'm sure he's going to feature. We haven't seen too on. much just yet, have we? No, we're very early in round one. Uh, not even yet completed as Castro. Oh. Castro, what can he do? Oh, he's going to start again. Oh, he gives off possession to McGoy. McGoy then again gives possession for Salakas. Finds Ricardo Castro again. Castro to that live wire. Oh, oh yes, Jose Portillo. The lightning strike, the thunderbolt. The most exciting play in the Premiership. Jose Portillo. Takes one step and bangs it past Sorensen. Almost took the net with him. 
And geez, Chief Barbosa didn't want to know much about that. The shoulders dropped. The shoulders dropped, but Bosa not putting the pressure on. He should have put the pressure on. And uh, his Portillo again doing the hard yards, Montgomery. Well, that's what you love with your uh, your attacking players, Chief. Your star players. That oh. are, they're not bigger than the team. They get back and do the team things. Certainly does. And Hippotran having a big crack. Ferguson couldn't get it on target. Gets it over the post. Might have had Jimmy Brennan beat there. Uh, just too much on the uh, wedge. Made it go over. Matthew Pig has impressed me in the last seven rounds of life. Oh, the live way he's done. You can't give him a centimetre. Portillo. He, he uh, streams forward and gets an important goals made bigger as well, doesn't he, Chief? He certainly does. As Castro just playing around. He's got bigger there and uh, the ball finds its way uh, to Portillo. But the ball goes out. The, the officials have called it a bronze ball to be brought back in. And it uh, looks like Ricardo Castro will be bringing that one in. Castro now will be looking for Portillo. All that pass through to Roslyn. As he tries to get it, Ferguson in the way. Castro. Oh! Ricky Castro! Well, Chief, we were just saying that Ricky Castro and Jose Portillo were just waiting to break this game open. And look who scored all three goals. And so most of the attacks for this Brunswick side. Oh, they're definitely a great combination. You've got Twinkle Toes and Roslyn there as well. Pass didn't find its target, but Ferguson couldn't do enough. Goes through his leg and past Sorensen. And that's 3 0 Brunswick in a commanding lead as timeout is called. Uh, we mentioned earlier on about the uh, combination between these players. Uh, these players, uh, if they do the hard yards and get serious, uh, you could be talking futsal rules for these players. Jeez, what a turn by Roslyn there. Twinkle toes. Very silky, job. very silky player. Yes, and Castro. Oh, Barbosa! Castro! What a save by Sorensen. Barbosa's just strolling there with a latte in his hand. Barbosa's already left the club, it and looks like. And Ricky Castro's doing whatever, what he, whatever he likes. Too much room, you can't afford it. The first line of defence is the striker. That's how it should work in futsal. All players should defend, and if you don't, it's going to be Curtis. Hurt, Chief, you? Especially as the league is getting much, much better. It's at a top level now, it's just going to get harder. This is dangerous. Hipper, this looks gets dangerous. Bucks in the way. Finds Ferguson, Ferguson back to Hipper. They're mucking oh, around. Great there. pressure by Brunswick, great pressure. Castro. Oh! <laughs> Cameron Holmes strolls in on a beautiful Sunday evening. It's good pressure, but not a good uh, side ball setup, though, really. Picks up the pot tee and puts it away. It was too easy to do the stranded. He's just come in, not enough tight marking there. And banged it away, 3-1, Paran in the snip after Brunswick dominating. Well, they certainly needed that one, didn't they, Chief? They do, they do. He's just looking a little bit flat and it was... Uh, Pretty much left where you sort of taken off where they left last season in the form that they had a pretty pretty ordinary very shaky chief yeah shaky. last couple of rounds uh, they did finish third Brunswick finished I believe uh, seventh seventh yes and what a finish that was being in the bottom four for more than half of the season pretty much the entire, pretty much season. The entire season yeah and they just uh, got out of it ended up seventh. Uh, but uh, the roles look like they've reversed. Brunswick's got their act together. They've got all their players uh, singing to the same beat. Mm. Marching to the same beat. And uh, Baran looked like they're a bit torn. As Barbosa and Azam try to get the ball happening. But Barbosa just wide. And Chief, with, uh, with three cups up for grabs and a fresh uh, slate for Brunswick to start, you'd, you'd say they'd be up for at least oh, one. Oh, you're certainly right. And Hippotrain just going wide again. Uh, they have had opportunities, uh, Paran. They've lifted the game. Brunswick perhaps taken a step back. And uh, rightly mentioned, uh, review man, uh, three cups up for grabs. We've got the uh, League Cup, the Clubs Cup. Which oh, involves. the Clubs Cup. So that makes it a, a, a three, four, including the V-League also. So. V-League, State League and League One will be going at it. Uh, V-League will be coming in the second round after the State League and League One get teams battle it out. So League One teams are in the Clubs Cup? That's correct. It's oh, be, that's, that's froth. Uh, form of an FA Cup. Oh, and a nice little play there by Ferguson, but Ricardo Castro, call as you like, twinkle toe. No, it's not. It's in the double on the field now. He's fine. Duva, Duva shovels it. Shovels it a bit too high over the post, over the bar. And as you see, he had the right intention, trying to get Sorensen on the ground. But the shovel was way too thick. Brunswick seemingly doing whatever they whatever they like. Certainly right, and uh, the ball's come to pick up, pick up. Oh, and a good save there by Sorensen. 
Matthew Bigger trying to blast the ball. Oh, I'll tell you what, he had uh, Armour the Sun closing in. The ball, poor marking. Why Paran? They had three players all locked up. I'm not sure if they get it, but all players should be behind the ball when they're defending. Every single player, there's no time to play as a, as a target when you're in defence. You've got to break as a target once you get the ball. And you'll find it, oh, I thought uh, Malcolm Charming got the ball before he went out then. He just can't help himself. He, he, just, he just wants to get out there, Chief. Get in there. Uh, maybe we haven't got a good view from here. We are on an angle. As uh, Avram gets the ball off Holmes, pass to Azam. Azam oh, yes, yeah, got a brilliant link up play there. Almost pulled his way, pulled his way through, and there's the live wire. What can he do? He's dangerous, he's dangerous. He's dangerous. Oh! And Cameron Holmes takes the legs. Chief, that didn't look good, Chief, did it? No, it didn't look good. I, uh, oh, geez, and look at that, Chief. He's just been double carded there. Been double carded by the men in black. Yeah. And have a look at that bang. Oh. And he's very lucky getting away with the yellow card. But, Chief, a smart yellow card. Because, I mean, Jose Portillo, he's, he's turned it on yeah. early on. That, that could have been a, uh, a, third, a third one. Oh, no doubt about it. It's one lovely pass. Oh, and bigger. And Portillo was off. There's no doubt about that. And how exciting is uh, watching Portillo with the ball. He is an absolute talent. You can't, you can't train that kind of talent. You can't find it. Although you do need to train hard and work hard exactly. to maintain it and be on top of your game. As Ferguson does well to get away. Portillo was hot on his trail. Bigger now intercepts the ball. Matthew Bigger with a shot there. Oh, sorry, it's a man of minute. Oh, the Badger was there on the last one. The defence getting the ball out. Oh, Maxi Aram just hacks it out. Delicately hacks it out. And have a look at the replay. Bigger half-hearted shot to some degree. Sorensen making a mill of it. Unit Darwin gets the ball pinched from him by, by Ben Armstrong. Castro to Bigger. Big game so far by Castro. Bigger playing well as well. Actually, the entire side playing well. Castro just... Jeez, he just nudges... Oh, he just nudges his arm and it out of the way. Oh, he's playing well. He's an orchestrator all the way through. He just thought oh, this out. Oh, boy. He's dangerous. Oh! oh! Jose Portillo, most exciting play in the Premiership. Oh, he's such a live wire. The talent this gentleman's got. Chief, I won't forget uh, Portillo's individual performance against Pascaval where he scored those three quality goals. Oh, absolutely. For the 3-3 three, three draw Brunswick had with Absolutely. Uh, oh, and Barbosa that shot over the top. No doubt about it. It was arm and his arm. My apology. And uh, he's definitely got talent as it is half-time at the moment. Review, man. It is half-time. We finally got there. 3-1 the score, Brunswick get a commanding lead, Paran have had the chances. And they need the answers, Chief. They need the answers, and the answers might be in the night shop, oh, the team Oh, what a segue that was. Oh, Futsal Oz has got all your team wear a barrel. We've got beanies, we've got uh, shin pad uh, uh, holders, we've got everything. Look at Patilla, he's even telling you, they're here. As uh, Cameron Holmes... You've got uh, backpacks in too, Chief. Back. You, can get, you can get your club logo uh, printed on it too. Second, you certainly can, as you've got... Uh, the game on the way, second half on the way, Portillo with the ball now, he's facing the opposite side. Pretty smart, he gets rid of it, out of danger, trying to bring it in. Azam, big game needed by these gentlemen in the blue and red, as we've got Barbosa. Oh, Marcus Barbosa, with a lovely goal, gets past Brunswick's MVP of last season, Postalakis. Let's have another look at it, gets past Moores, thinking about a diving hitter, but banged in the back of the net. Perhaps a little bit more desperation oh. needed there. Oh, it's just I got past. It, it looked like a post of luck. He's in two minds there. He certainly was. And uh, Barbosa putting a comfortable goal past Jimmy Brennan. 3-2. They're definitely in it still. Although Brunswick's looked more dangerous. And how did this start happening? The bells and whistles are happening. That's Hepatran now. What's he doing? Oh, do, do. No, sorry. Unit Darwin loses the ball and recovers. Brilliant second effort there by Uta Darwin. His first game for Brunswick. He's showing Nikos Ignatidis what he's all about. He's certainly right. Nice passing game there. But Bosa now with a big crack and well stayed. Oh, nice the danger, man. He's dangerous. He's dangerous. Oh, oh yes. And Sorensen stayed strong, stayed upright. Look at this cutting. How good is he when he runs at defences, oh, Chief? Azam had probably no chance because he just cut him nicely. Darwin to bring it in. Poslakis just gets one over the top. Tries to find his uh, twinkle toe partner there with a little 
Hannah, but Sorensen very comfortable, bigger. McCoy not being his usual self today, normally features more prominently. Foster Lark just went in for that one. Foster Lark is going in like 10 men. It's Pigger to bring it in. Pigger tries to find Darwin in the back post. Avram just gets rid of it. All the way back. Brennan to bring it in. He finds Darwin. Darwin. Postalakis, Postalakis to Pigger. Nice little pass through. Two good times, but the ball. Oh, this is Danger. one way. Oh, oh, no! Lovely goal. You had Twinkle Toes. He's limping. As the ball went all the way back. Roslin, Darwin, Roslin, and no chance for Sorensen. And that was well worked. We didn't get the uh, replay from the very start. But a well earned goal, 4 2, as Paran in trouble. And Chief, that's exactly how you can tell that this Brunswick side are training at the moment. It was a beautifully worked ball out of defence. Certainly was, and uh, it was pretty much the players that aren't getting the regular time that put it away. There's no Castro, no Portillo on the field right now. And this is where a team needs its second breath. So the level stays at the highest level at all times, including all subs. And I think Brunswick have got a well ma ma matched up team. And uh, in my opinion, they're only going to be top four. Oh, and Barbosa! Barbosa! Oh, Barbosa did all the hard work! Cameron Holmes ran past him. Barbosa thought he was a step behind. Should have gave it then. He didn't. The players were back and Pusilaka slides on the ground. And all the way out, desperation from Brunswick. Barbosa perhaps should have given it earlier. Tried to do a little bit too much. Nevertheless, it was nice play. Just didn't have the uh, finish. Ferguson. Holmes. Oh, oh Costa Marquez. He's shining the floor there, Chief. Well, that's the way you've got to do it. You've got to do it nice and cleanly, not dirty. That's for sure. But Bosa with a shot, Brennan in the way. And this game has got everything. It's got the desperation. It's got the skills. It's had the action. It's got the speed. And when called upon, Jimmy Brennan's done quite well, Chief. As the keepers have done well. I even think Son's done well. Can't, don't think you can blame him for the goal. Correct, They've correct. Brilliant correct. shots as uh, Ferguson gets the ball away to her. Holmes. Holmes, who's he find? He finds Trent. Darwin, he's done well on his debut so far. In fact, the whole entire project squad are playing as one. As oh, Duke 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 with an absolute trademark right with the top corner. That was proper pigeon chief. Look how well this was hit. Welcome back. This is Deja Vu. Oh. 2009 season Deja Vu when he smashed a couple pass. Then oh. manager goalkeeper Nick De Corrales, who was playing for North Melbourne. Oh. And Gee, that, oh, isn't that a good reaction from his teammates there, Chief? That's right. Giving he him a bit of love. Oh, bigger all the way back. It's going in. They're going in like 10 men as Pigger tries to stop Avram. Avram couldn't get the angle. Straight to Brennan. McGoy back all the way back in that time. As Holmes has got to sort it out. He finds Barbosa. Barbosa over the top to McGoy. That's better play. McGoy loses out. No, he doesn't. Still got the ball. Not makes puts him to no one. Did well to hold on to the ball, Chief, but just couldn't find anyone at the back there. Just looks like uh, Perez lost their actual jail this sequence. They had that in the first couple of... Oh! That was too quick to call! The Phantom, who even eluded the camera, no one saw him. At one stage, you thought Castro was passing to no one. And bang, Portilio, the live wire, banged the pass, Sorensen, 6-2, and Brunswick. I know it's only the first game of the season, uh, review man. But if this team they, keep this up, oh, they are definitely well, up in one of the title favourites. Well, Chief, they have kept their late season form up going into round one. So, they have kept it up. Well, They've kept their quality together. You know, the transfer season comes along. Everyone tries to pick everyone's best players and they've held oh, on to theirs. Oh, a big shot there by Barbosa. They're trying to build for something. Long throw from Brennan. He's going to find Pigger. Oh! That is Pigger! Matthew Pigger with a party trick. It was sort of like a bit of a donkey kick. Chief, I don't know if that was a goal of the week or a cake of the week by James Sorensen. It looks like he was fresh air swimming. Well, it looked like he was playing. It looked like he was on Broadway dancing. Have a look. It's bigger said just move out of the way, son, because that's coming through. And that bangs the back of the post, and the Brunswick lads are very happy. 
And that's a bad eat. Thank you, mother, for the rabbits. They're trying to repeat it. Oh, yes, Sorensen. <laughs> and the long throws are paying up as this time Putile gets over at Sorensen with a great save on that occasion. And you'd have to feel for Sorensen because I don't know. His team weren't playing for him, Chief, were they? Well, they're not they playing for they each other. They weren't, yes, they weren't playing to protect the goal. And that is the final whistle review, man. A 7 2 demolition. Brunswick have stated their claims, their intentions for the 2012 season. Well done, lads. I mean, it was one of the tenacious defenders of the Brunswick club, Matty Pigger. Great fight by the boys. Early on, it was tough. It was niggly, it was tussly. And the second half, what a great second half by the boys to regroup and really convincing winners at the end, Matty. Yeah, it was great. It was good to see. Finally, we're off to a good start. We normally start off a bit sluggish. I think the Crown boys played into our hands a bit, making it a bit of a rough game, which sort of suits us. Just kept us in the game for the first half, and then we were lucky enough to have the quality to put it away in the end. It's good to see. It's good to see you come back after, unfortunately, another injury. Yeah, another you one. You came yeah. back to the second half of the season. The yeah. Brunswick boys regrouped. Good, a se good second half of the season. Yeah. Made the cup. Unfortunately, lost to Pascoval in the first week of the FIS Cup. Yeah, that's right. If this team can really stick together, I'm sure you can probably give it a shake. Yeah, definitely. There's some promising signs towards the second half of the season when we've got the full squad back, so we've got a bit of momentum now. We start off with a win. We're not chasing victories anymore like we normally are, so the pressure's off. We can play our own game now, so hopefully. I think uh, a good, good pick run. up Ricardo Castro in the second oh, half of the season. Very good pick up for you. Great right player, yeah. And, you, and also, obviously, yourself and Adorni have been part of the soul of the team. Playing week in, week in makes a big difference to this uh, It does, mate. Team. Playing with someone like Ricky at the back makes it easy for Adorni and I. Yeah. Just clean up the scraps, mate. But yeah, it's great. Unfortunately, you're gonna, you've lost five sharpers, which is a big loss. It is a big loss, but yeah. Duke Duva's back. Duke's back. Good has, to see him scoring again. Yes, how's he progressing? Good, yeah. He's, uh, he's struggling with fitness a bit. I don't think he worked as hard as he should have in the off-season, but uh, he knows what he's got to do now, and it's good to see him scoring again. Also, I think Yuna Darwin's been a great pick-up for you boys. Brilliant pick-up, yeah. Great energy off the bench. It's good for us. So what are the aspirations this season? Do you reckon you can give it a shake? Yeah, we're I'll, I'll be honest with you, I think you can. We're not in it to finish second, so obviously it's tough. There's nothing saying that we're the favourites or anything like that. We know North and Paco are going to be right up there as well. We ran also on Metro, there's a lot of teams. But, you, but I think, man, you've got a good balance of speed. You've got good defenders, yeah. you've got great creative players, yeah. you've got explosive players, you've got good forwards that can kick your goals, you've got Rouge, you've got Pazer, you've got Dukesta, yeah. you know, you've got creative players in Utah that one. So it's a good balance and mix there in the team. Yeah, great balance, and we all fight for each other, which is the key, I think. That's that's exactly right. If you work for each other as a team, the results are going to come. And I think you've got a great bond at Brunswick. And I wish you all the best for the season. Thanks, and hopefully you can take it out, Matty. That's it, mate. Thank you Well very done, much. mate. Thank you, Matty. Thanks, Matty. Well done, buddy. Oh, that's a big win from CF Brunswick, the Bloods. They made sure FC Paran, the Warriors, had no chance today. Make sure you subscribe to our videos. The V-League Premiership is all over well. The next big clash, Metropolitan are definitely going to welcome in-house the wing. Don't miss it.